Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and this is a very special edition of this show because this video has been recorded specifically for Spiel 2020 because the convention, because you know, considerations concerning COVID-19, well, they've gone digital, they've gone completely fully online, which means that we're missing out on the absolutely wonderful atmosphere that is Spiel in Essen. Now, that doesn't mean that some of the companies are not reaching out because they want everybody to see the games that they were going to launch at the show anyway. And that is the case of Czech Games Edition. Uh, it's a company that I have a love, uh, you no, know, just a love relationship with since I fell in love with them when I played Alchemist so many years ago. And ever since, they've just been coming up with smacker after smacker after smacker which is wonderful and this year they have another fantastic looking game called the lost ruins of arnak um, they have been very very kind to send me a pre-production copy so i can show all of you what's going to come inside the box when you buy this game now, is it going to be worth the amount of money that you have to pay to get your hands on it? I am about to show you. Welcome to the GMS Magazine Unboxing Videos Spiel Digital 2020 Edition. Lost Ruins of Arnak is a game of discovery for one to four players, ages 12 and up, and you should play in about 90 minutes. Now, what does it come up with? I can tell you with a ton of stuff. Um, I absolutely have to say, I love the cover illustration. It's absolutely beautiful, really beautiful. But it, it, it tells an absolutely fantastic story of this group of explorers finding these ruins while this guy is looking idly on the opposite direction wondering, ah, oh, yeah, that's a beautiful flower up there. But look at these amazing ruins that we've discovered. Ah, oh, but look at the forest over there. These <laughs> it's just absolutely brilliant. While these guys are saying, yeah, I've written everything down so everybody can hear about it. It's, it tells an absolutely fantastic story. And I love it. I really, really love it. So I've been looking at it for ages, I can tell you. So anyway, what's inside? As I said, this is a pre-production copy. This is not a final product. So what you're going to see is the final amount of components, but it may, they may differ a little bit when you get them at your table, when you buy the game, which you, you probably buy. Uh, also, it came without the printed rules, which I can, I can expect and understand. Uh, um, you can download them and I can tell you they look absolutely gorgeous. I've read them and if anything, they make the game really appealing. They, they have actually written them very well indeed. So don't be afraid or scared with everything you're going to see in here because this is simpler than it may look. So we're going to find all sorts of things in, in the box when we get them. So let's, let's start little by little Taking a look at everything. Uh, firstly, this is the first bag I'm taking, okay? There's no um, no method in my madness, uh, or even madness, or even method. This is the um, first player talking, I'm guessing, and these are gonna be some really thick little cards. I don't know if these are going to be the same you know, um, kind of thick components when when you get them, but even if they're just standard cards, they look very simple to understand. The iconography is so well done, and the printing is fantastic. This is very, very sharp. I love the illustration of, of the clock. Uh, because it's quite atmospheric. And since my grandma used to have one of these, it brings some memories from my childhood. Yes, 
I am that old. Thank you very much. And yes, my grandma was even older, as you can. So, first box. Um, by the way, we have lots of components to, to take a look at, so I'm going to go fairly quickly. Okay. We have more tiles. I have to say, the whole thing has been very, very beautifully illustrated. The art direction throughout is fantastic. Really, I mean, I wish when they make a game as beautiful as this, I really wish they did the art of kind of books with them because there are so many illustrations and every single one of these is so evocative. Seriously, every one of these is making, telling a story. Um, because this is a game of discovery, this is a game of, of finding out uh, lost ruins in, in the middle of godforsaken, forgotten jungles. It, oh, it's, it's so cool. This is so, so cool. Seriously. Um, this is fantastic. Um, so I would invest my money in the art of, of this game because it's tremendous. Okay, more of these tiles. These are very tightly packed. And, oh, I have to be very careful with these. Yes, I'm breaking the bag because the tightness of the packing has damaged one of the tiles. And I care about the tiles a great deal more than I care about the baggie. Hate me. Uh, yes, so this is, oops, sorry, I, I have hurt it. Anyway, there are more of these tiles. As I was saying, the illustrations are gorgeous. The icons are really well placed, very easy to differentiate. And I can imagine even if, if you have some sort of uh, color blindness, I don't think you're gonna have an issue knowing what everything is because every shape is, is distinctly different and those creatures are just amazing and i want a pet like that one or this one or that one it's a pet that would be wonderful <laughs> anyway these are very good uh, and i'm guessing that these are going to be the uh, evil buddies that uh, you're going to find and you have to fight your way through because um, we all know that jungles are full of very very dangerous animals cities are imagine jungles we have loads of tokens and again little cards with explorers and we are not short of choices which is great the tokens once again they have everything that you need to have they may be a little bit on the small side in some cases like that one uh, i mean once you know what it means then you know what it means and it's not going to be an issue at all uh, but you're going to have to be very careful because yeah the icons in here are a tiny tiny bit on the small side most of them is not going to be a problem, like here for the clock, for instance, uh, sorry, for the compass. But here that you have a combination of them, it could be an issue. Other than that, beautifully printed, everything in the right place. Not many complaints for me. And yes, I am a very demanding kind of guy. Fight me. Okay. Another bag. By the way, I'm doing all this because I want to get to the board. <laughs> I'm really yanking to get to the board. There we go. Plenty of cheats with different values. Nothing much to them other than the fact that they're lovely. I, I, I just love the illustration. The iconography is so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. 
I think they've done a fantastic job with it. I think when once this game is, is played, it's going to look so amazing. Right, we have cards. We have a deck of tons of cards. I'm going to open for you. And I can imagine these, these are likely to be the final cards. These are more likely to be exactly where you're going to get. It. It's a standard material, the standard size. Ooh, very smooth. Love it. Very smooth to the touch. And once again, the illustrations are lovely and the iconography is in the right place. Uh, the illustration in the back is consistent throughout. And the taxonomy of the card, again, very, very easy to understand. Everything is in the right places. And everything is very consistent, which is wonderful. So, yes, you can take a look at them. This is just, wow. I mean, I don't think I have seen two illustrations of the same thing, which if you stop to think about it, the, the expense of going through dozens of illustrations, it's just incredible. Oh, and they have a dog. Okay, look at that. They have a dog. I like the dogs. My goodness. And not just the, the number of illustrations, but the fact that they have thought of so many things. Holy, holy, what a Karina. Anyway, sorry, I could spend here all afternoon and I know you have all the videos to watch. Of course, the games to play and you probably want to just pre-order this. I would. Oh. We have two little bags with meeples, which I'm very big, which is very good because we're going to have a very big board. You know, standard meeples. And for up to four players with explorer hats, you know, Indiana Jones in meeples. Very good. But here, though, we have other things. We have little gems and spears. Ah, and little stones. Oh, <laughs> this is super cute. Super cute. Love it. Excellent. These are very nice. Ooh, I'm very sharp. Watch out. Okay, yes, I'm putting this away because I'm running out of space on my desk. Okay. Right, okay, okay. We also get a little, um, these stickers are for some of these wooden bits that we get in the box. So, for the magnifying lenses and the journals. Right, we get the player boards, double-sided. and beautiful. Now, I don't know if these are going to be a thick cardboard when they get to the production line, or if they're going to be uh, thin ones. I hope they're not thin ones. I hope they're like this, because I love to see proper cardboard. Oh, look at that. So cool. They have thought of everything. Damn, it's a f as if these people knew what they were doing or something. 
Very cool. This is, <laughs> this is really good. I'm sorry, but I geek out when I see these things. I, I just love to see well-produced games. Now we have two boards, uh, but one is an extension. So I'm going to show you first the big board, which is very big and it's double-sided. So I hope I have enough space to unfold it fully for you. This is absolutely glorious. Really glorious. Love the progression. Love the illustration is so cool. They have managed to make sure that um, everything is very visible, even though it's a very, very busy illustration, but all the icons, they can be very easily identified everywhere. Uh, it's brilliant. And then the other side, is just as beautiful. I mean, I, I know that you're gonna have to, you know, tilt your heads 90 degrees, but if I try to show you this, this way, then it's not gonna fit the whole thing, but I can, I can do a magic trick and just gently slide this for you so you can see everything. Well, this is where you're gonna go exploring when you buy this game, so. Um, This is adorable, absolutely adorable. And it comes with this extension that comes down here to make the board even bigger. <laughs> And people wonder why I love board games. Because of games like this. They just looking at them make me so, so happy. So anyway, this is what you're going to find if you get your hands on this game. And I can tell you that this is, uh, uh, I just want to play it. I really want to play it. And I want you to play it because if it is a 10th of the quality of what it looks like, this is going to be absolutely terrific. And we know this company, they're not gonna miss out. They're, they're really are not going to, not, not going to let us down. So please do take a look and let me know what you think. Cause I would really seriously, I would really love to hear what you have to say about it. Um, I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful spiel. Uh, I hope if you watch this in the future, that you have a great spiel and you will take a look at this game. And by the way, Spiel does have donations in their website. If you can, please contribute a little bit. Uh, this year's hitting everybody really, really badly. And uh, the organizers are no less. They have done an insane amount of work for the game community and that includes you as well. So if you can give them a little bit of love, please do. If you can't afford to do it, just share the videos and just, just talk about it. Just, just be there. Just show yourself and be there. Um, and let's make sure that this is hopefully the best digital spiel that anybody could think of. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so, so much for being there. And until the next time, and I hope that that will be very soon, I will talk to you very, very soon indeed. Take care.